Good morning, hot dogs. Welcome back to the morning announcements. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Purdue extension, extension, DECA, sports, weather, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for <clears throat> all. Purdue Extension is hosting a FASFA, on FASFA night on Thursday, October 28th from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. They are asking students to please make an appointment due to social distancing. You can find the flyer in English and Spanish in the hot dog chatter. DECA cookies are baked Monday through Thursday during period two. Stop by the DECA cookie cart before school or during passing period to get your cookie fix. DECA has M&M, chocolate chip, and double fudge cookies available for sale. One bag has two cookies and is $1. Strategic marketing students are managing the school-based enterprise. Suggestions should be directed to Edwin Mejia, Daniel Garcia, Jordan Frazier, Kiyomi Perkins, Autumn Bauer, Britton Wood, and David Mendoza. Make sure to check your emails if you're planning on attending after school tutoring, which will begin today after school, literally at 3 o'clock and, and will end at 4.15 every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday will be tutoring days to those in need of help with extra help with extra work and extra classes. Crash applications are due tomorrow, so if you're interested, make sure to turn those in. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Johnson. Happy birthdays go out to Elizabeth Bucio, Raymond Burge, Miguel Carrasco, Hernandez, Vilma Lopez, and Justin Reyes. Now to sports and weather. Hola and good morning. It wasn't too cold this morning with it being only 66 degrees outside today, but the temperature is going to raise later today, getting it up all the way to 87 degrees around 4 p.m., but luckily you can expect a breeze with the winds over 10 miles per hour. As we head into the night, the temperatures will drop down into the 70s. Even with the winds, I would suggest all full athletes hydrate today. That's it for the weather. Now to sports with Elijah and Avi. Both the boys and girls cross country teams won the Clint County Cross Country Championship meet in very close races. The boys only beat Rossville by one point, while the girls beat runner-up Crutton Prairie by two points for their titles. All county runners for the boys include Josue Bautista in second place, Angel Perez in third, and Angelis in seventh. All county girls runners for the girls include individual meet champion Karina Alanis and second place finisher Alexis Reed Gill. A special congratulations goes out to Karina Alanis for being her, own whole, her old home course record by 17 seconds with a 20.53 while running completely around for the entire race. Now we'll send it to Avi with football and golf results. Thanks Elijah. Mental mistakes and lack of execution hurt the hot dogs against a very talented and physical South Mall football team. The running game struggled to con find consistency. However, the passing game has really developed over the last several weeks. The coaching staff is excited to see how a shift to more pass oriented, oriented offense will help spark some big plays. Defensively, we're looking forward to a renewed focus this week on playing fast and physical. Our specials team unit, again, did a great job with some awesome punts, great kickoffs, and coverage. Our kick return game was cl so close to creating two big run backs, and the special teams unit is getting better every week. And now to Elijah. Thanks, Avi. The JV volleyball team travels Southmont for the conference tournament on Saturday. While the girls went 1-3, they showed great improvement from the previous matches. They picked the season. They've also picked up their first win in several seasons, are ready to push forward and keep improving. This past Saturday, I wrestled at the IHPO at Fort Wayne at the 129-pound weight class. In the first round, I had Fountain Central, Waylon Frazee, and pinned him in 39 seconds. Second round, I wrestled a kid from Ohio, which I won 8-3 in that match right there. In the round 16, I wrestled another Ohio kid, which I won by major decision 12-3. In the quarterfinals, I wrestled Kentucky State champ Isaac Thornton, which he got a quick takedown. I got escape at the end first to make it 2-1.
Pedro, you don't need script anymore. I got this, bub. 2-1 at the end of the first, second period. He got out. I got a takedown 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I got out 4-3. Then I moved to assign my files against number one kid in the country, Sergio Lemley, which it was 9-3. And I took him down, so that's somewhat good. Then I lost to him, <laughs> moved to Consolation Semifinals against Ohio State Placer, Nolan Fry. He reversed me with 20 seconds left in the second period. Seconds left in the second period. I took him down, and I got a penalty point, make it 3-2. Then I had crown points Logan Frazier, who's a state placer last year. And once again, I won 3-2, and I got third place. So I had a decent tournament, and I went 6-1 and one overall. So it, was good, so it was a good tournament. That's it for sports. Now back to your hosts. That's all for today's announcements. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Have a great rest of your day.